Hello, hello, and welcome back to the final episode of Yondercraft. So, this episode being the uh, final episode is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to do a base tour and then a little bit of a world tour. Uh, it's not going to be a full world tour because even I don't have the full world explored. But I think it should be fairly interesting. Um, and I think, like all things, it should start at the beginning. This is the house that I took over. Very first day on the server. Slapped a bed in there. Eventually filled it with torches and a rhyme my beloved sign while he was AFKing staring at that spot. Uh, next would come the spider farm, if memory serves me right, which, gosh, I hope it does. Um, the spider farm never got decorated in the same way that the rest of the farms did. Uh, and I'm sure you can tell. Um, with luck, there will be a world download in the description within a few days of- a week or two, may I correct myself, of this episode posting. Um, and if you would like to come down here with a pickaxe or an axe or something and see how many heads I stuck in this hellhole, uh, be my guest, because I don't know. Just that there's a lot of them. Really suits the aesthetic, you know? And if we bubble back up, we're gonna go to the second farm I built, and eventually fully revamped, because the one I built I didn't use. And that would be the tree farm. Uh, this I built fairly early on, uh, while I was, uh, dealing with villagers, I believe, which we'll get to very soon, because Fletchers will give you a lovely trade for sticks. Um, I had an automatic TNT, or no, I had an automatic growing and uh, organizing farm up here, but it only worked for oak for some reason. Uh, Bruce and S Birch and Spruce, pardon, would break it, so that's why I had to switch it off and never use it because I didn't like it. Um, another farm I built around this time was my chicken farm, which actually got me a lot of food. Uh, I did switch to golden carrots once I got my villagers set up. Um, this is the final product of a villager breeder I had in this general area that began as a couple villagers we had a farmer up here, and we had some villagers in the old, uh, breeder that worked, honestly, better than this one does, I think. Uh, so we had a f we had an old style breeder, and it got me a lot of villagers. Um, now I've upgraded it to a new style breeder that works in 116. Uh, there's actually quite a few men in there, if, if I turn... F3 on, and we look up at the E in the corner of the screen. There's about 40 villagers a pop in each half. <laughs> um, over here, this area got revamped a lot into the final villager zone. Um, we have a lot of villagers down here. I could have done more, but frankly, I had all that I needed, so I didn't. Like, we even have an open stall here. Uh, I have librarians, I have toolsmiths, I have weaponsmiths, uh, I have a lot of farmers, I have fletchers, a lot of guys. All the dudes that you need to do make your stuff. Um, I think uh, when I do this again next season I'm going to organize it better, because I didn't organize it at all. Uh, so that'll be something I'll be doing. Um, the next thing I built was the Cac Tower, which is a large cactus farm that produced a lot of bones, uh, 23 bone blocks worth, a lot of cactus, it's actually- it's not out of- are you out of cactus? How in the- a lot of cactus, um, not producing much right now because I haven't AFK'd in the area. Um, the next sort of project that I worked on was the Iron Farm. We still have a few spawning issues, even though we shouldn't. Um, I'm 85% sure that these guys are actually from the villagers, because the villagers uh, will spawn iron golems on top of where there's villagers under here. They will spawn iron golems on top of here. 
because it's too short to spawn them below. Uh, issue I will have to fix next season. Um, but there's a fully functional iron farm in there. Uh, this is the collection zone that only recently got upgraded. Um, the farm isn't the most efficient. Uh, not particularly sure why, but I mean, it did get me a fair bit of iron. I can't discount it that. Um, it's probably inefficient because I am not very good at iron farms, and I had to rebuild it like thrice, so, you know. Um, another thing that came around about the same time as the iron farm is the melon and pumpkin farm, which actually ended up pretty well attached to the uh, cactus farm. Uh, and this was the uh, second, the first actual tower I built. This was the color test. This was the first actual tower. Um, this has always led directly here. And this actually produces so fast. Yeah, I would, was going to say I wouldn't be surprised if we had a couple chests worth. Um, this is where I get all my emeralds and my food. Uh, and a lot of my tools and weapons. A lot of my spare tools bin stuff. This pump- this, uh, p potato farm. Pardon me. Uh, fully automatic. There's only one farmer in there, but there are room for, uh, four total, I believe. Especially if you, uh, pop your last guy- your, uh, your bait in, we'll call him, last. Um, if I can get up here, we can see... We have our farmer there, and then in the center there, there is a villager and a minecart uh, on top of a bunch of hoppers that leads directly out to here. Uh, this was never particularly fast, just because there was only ever one farmer in there. If I did it, if I do it again, I'll probably stick more farmers in there. Um, it was to replace the towers. There used to be a tower here, uh, the potato tower and the carrot tower. Uh, I never built the wheat and carrot farms that I did intend to build. Uh, to sort of honeycomb with this one because I didn't need to. I had a food source. This and my melon and pumpkin farm and my sticks and my iron farm provided plenty emeralds. Uh, the chorus farm was really just for fun. I never really used chorus this season. But, I mean... Sharpshooter moments. <laughs> it, it, it was target practice, honestly. Uh, and then one of the last things that I built was this super smelter. You put your uh, items to smelt in here, you add fuel here, it comes out here. Um, I don't think I built it quite right because it did break like six times before I got it to uh, work properly. But, you know. Um, this is my uh, nether wart farm and in here we have a villager who was originally going to be for a community iron farm project that never really got started. So, uh, now let's go on to the, uh, second project that I worked on this season, and that would be the crater, uh, the crater and the floating island. Uh, we've got a creeper down there, if I just... Don't you move. Now my shots are falling short eat it. Alright, so this was a project that I was supposed to get working on uh, actually very early on in the season. Uh, my towers over there were not supposed to become as detailed as they did, um, but uh, illness and stuff popped up and it was much easier to continue working on the little projects instead of digging out a massive pit and using the supplies to make a large floating island. Uh, but eventually it, it, it did happen, it only took me like two weeks. Uh, so I guess I was worrying for nothing. There's even a little pond of water there, which is actually one of the coolest effects that I ever put on this island. I might reuse this later. Um, if I did this again, I would definitely not use concrete powder, uh, because you can see the stupid amount of string that it took to hold it up. I would probably use terracotta or something else green. Uh, but yeah, we got we got our little floating island with the nice pool of water and the uh, suspicious redstone portal um, that uh, didn't take a chunk of my soul to activate. No, no, not at all. What are you What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't give my soul for that portal. Uh, so this would be the second project we did, and I really like how it turned out. Um, but now there's a project that uh, I've been keeping secret 
for not for too long, but for an, an amount of time. Uh, and I'm actually really excited to show y'all. So here we have this path that I built a little while ago, and that has absolutely showed up in some of my videos. And if we travel along this path, we see uh, something in the distance there. Now, I didn't record Season Zero, uh, simply because I joined halfway through, and I was busy with my Minecraft Legacy series at the time and didn't think I could hold up two series. Uh, but what I built was a massive cathedral. So for my birthday this year, my friends built a mini version of my massive cathedral. Um, I think it turned out really well. Uh, and what I did is I took items of value that had uh, specifically memories from this season attached to them. And I, I kept them in here. This is also where I store my wide collection of heads. Uh, some of these I don't actually have in my head's chest anymore, just because I only had one of them. Uh, but most of them, there's actually a lot more up there. There's just no way to access that without Elytra. Uh, because I don't think of my own accessibility to stuff. <laughs> I didn't in the original cathedral either. Um, but the thing I like most is there's armor stands of all of the people who I'm friends with who I had heads of. Uh, here we have Null Sunday. Here we have Righteous Shadow. Here we have Ethereal Box. And here we have Moss. Uh, May May 11. May 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 11? I don't remember uh, their IGN. Uh, and then here we have me! Uh, when I did this armor stand, I still used a cane, but now I use crutches, and it's it's pretty cool. And I'm, I'm reading the Book of Armor Stands, even though it's not enchanted. Um, my friends built just the cathedral, but the thing about it is, in Season Zero, because I joined halfway through, I didn't get a chance to finish the cathedral, the exterior. So out here I built reflecting pools. I paid Arrow to make angel statues. Which I think she did a lovely job on. <laughs> this side has more reflecting pools. Uh, the terracotta designs are all perfectly symmetrical, by the way. Uh, perfect symmetry because that's how we roll. And then over here we have another fountain that I intended to armor stand, but it didn't happen. Uh, we have this sign here, higher arrow to make this look like an angel statue. She couldn't quite see it, but that's all right. We have another pool with reflections and we have this little courtyard. And then this here is a bit of an inside joke with some nostalgia I have. Uh, behind the original cathedral was a dark oak biome with a massive lake that I used to just go boating in all the time whenever I was bored, so I put a boat here. Uh, so now there's something special that I've had planned since I since the cathedral arrived that we're gonna do. We start with Null Sunday. This, my friends, is Null Sunday's base. We run down this path. Goodness golly, this is a long path. Uh, as you can see, I believe she actually marked out her territory. Or maybe this was plans for something, I'm not sure. Paths, probably, honestly. Uh, and we see her starter house, which is a lovely blue-roofed house made of spruce and glass. Uh, and we're gonna go take... I would say take a nap, but not really. I'm just gonna see if I can steal an elytra. Because there's another part to her base. Oh goodness, this has changed a lot from the last time I was here. So this is her base. Um, I don't believe there's a way up. That's her villagers. This is her starter. It has evolved a lot. There's new floors and the like. Um, if we head over the ice spikes... Oh, gosh, that's a creeper following me. If we head over the ice spikes and get shot by the uh, skeleton with slowness... Um, you can see more light over here. And if we outrun the monsters, we'll arrive at the other part of her base, where she has a field that is full of thousands of lavenders. I am 
Not kidding, there are literally thousands. Uh, we're not going to spend too long in here because it's difficult to see and a little painful on the camera. Uh, just to give you an idea of how many flowers there are. All of them individually placed. And then over here, we have wheat fields, which are not as expansive as the uh, lavender fields as far as I'm aware, but I'm, I'm about to be proven wrong. Uh, <laughs> golly, she put a lot of work into this and it's, it's incredible. It's beautiful. There's even a windmill. A windmill. Over here, uh, last time I visited her base, this wasn't here. And it looks like it's a little mushroom house, and frankly, it's adorable and I love it. Over here, we have another uh, flower biome that, again, is all individually placed. And these are custom birch trees, because I, I guess Noel just likes to make custom biomes. This is incredible. This is beautiful. Uh, if we run over here, we see she's built another house and has another haste beacon. Um, and down there, I believe that's a playground of sorts. Now there's one more area that I don't actually know how to find, so I'm gonna run around and find it real quick once we take a look at the building that just rendered in. Golly, this place is gorgeous. Look at that! How beautiful! What a tower! Oh, it looks like it's a rye tower. It's got its head on it. Alright, so now I'm gonna go see if I can find the place that I'm thinking of. Found it. <laughs> it's on the other side. Uh, this was her early season project, I believe, uh, and you'll see why just about now. Um, <laughs> this is a pit that she dug all the way to bedrock. Um, down there is a prison that I was the warden of exactly one time. Uh, and then we can see that she has covered a large chunk in green concrete, green glass, they're shooting at me, and netherrack. Uh, I don't have an elytra, so I can't go in, uh, but that's quite alright because I don't mind. Um, Y'all can download the world and explore it for yourselves if you'd like. Uh, oh, there's a bridge. I can go in. I don't think I'll be able to go down, but yeah, this is her base. She has a little cactus farm there. She has this massive, beautiful tower here. It's, it's cool. It's nice. It's a mob farm. It's a creeper farm, I right? That's right. She she owns the rocket shop, I believe. Uh, but thus ends the tour of Noel's base. So now we move on to the next on our list. And that person would be Righteous Shadow. And this is Rai's base. Uh, his base is an eccentric one. He's got a redstone duck here. Uh, but he lives in an underground ravine area. Oop. He also has a lot of entities, so there's a lot of frame lag uh, when you haven't loaded the whole area. If we go over here, you can see his little diamond face and the gazebo. Uh, over here, he's built up a bit since the last time I was here, added a house. Nice woolen walls, I like the shades. Milk and stuff on the wall. Uh, there's a lot of empty space and his beacons, and now we're in his villager area. Uh, he kept villagers in these houses, which is frankly a lot nicer than what I did. Um, however, he did still trap them. Uh, they are labeled, so that's pretty cool. Another thing he did is he, like Noel, built an autumn farm, although his is a little later in the season. Uh, and if you go- autumn farm? Autumn forest? Um, and if you go over to the Autumn Forest, you can find this little thing back here. Um, and if you open the door, it's, uh, <laughs> it's his little pog champ with his three monitor gaming setup and his YouTube play button and his Twitch banner and the server banner. Uh, he and I built it. He, he's even got this little, uh, really kind of badly built computer. Uh, you can't do computer stuff really well with armor stands, I learned. Uh, so that's our little pog champ.
We even gave him a diamond shirt and some Yeezys. I love him so much. Um, and then if we go up in Rise Base, which does take me a moment, uh, when there's not scaffolding, because Rai does use an elytra, and I don't, not this season. Oh, I see I'm going to have trouble regardless. Uh, if we go over here, this is a castle Rai has been working on. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's meant to cover the entire area, though I'm not sure he'll get it done before the server shuts down, which is perfectly fine. Um, over here we have more of his stuff, because frankly he's just a PogChamp dude who can't be stopped, not once he's started, including a cow farm uh, with what looks like... Uh, what is... Oh, it's Pickle Rick. Um, Pickle Rick in the cow farm. Uh, I wonder who built it. I wonder if he built that himself, honestly, because that's the kind of thing Rai would do. Uh, <laughs> I love him so much. He's the best. Um, over here we have more castle and some signs that say, ah. Yeah, so this is Rai's base. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Rai's base, uh, borders the, uh, story area, which unfortunately we're not going to tour as I was unable to uh, be a part of it. I tried and I tried and it just didn't happen. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. So now it's time to go to the next person on the list, who would be Ethereal Box. Welcome to Box's Islands. Uh, Box is an incredible builder. Um, the way he styles his builds, color palettes he uses, uh, his ability to get builds this detailed and big done, frankly. He's, he's one of the best we got, and if you ask me, he's one of the best of the best. Uh, because these are as far- yeah, he has interiors on most of these, you can sit in his chairs, there's a full kitchen here with a beautiful stove. Um, I'm not gonna go through every single house, but um, we are gonna walk around his area for quite a bit just because it is gorgeous. Like, he's even got a rose duck there. Uh, I think it's a pink necked duck. This this is beautiful. He's, he's even got a llama in the proper color palette. The, look at this stable. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, and this is his uh, biggest build. Um, this was in progress last time I was here. But you can see he's even terraformed. We have this lovely cliff. Um, a lot of these islands he actually made himself. Uh, this used to be just a big ol' ocean, quite a lot of it. Um, if we come up here... Uh, he's, he made diorite look good, and like I don't dislike diorite. But it's hard for him to make it look good, and he's done it, and he's got this big, beautiful, amazing castle. Look, he, he even uses terracotta. Like, I used it for reflecting pools, he used it as a ceiling, and he matched it with the carpet. He's incredible. He's He's got a worker in the bar, you can come out onto the porch here, and ow, that's a berry bush. You can look out at the town he built. You can look up at the incredible, like, manor. I said castle, I believe this is a manor. It's- it's incredible. Like, look at this dining room. This- this is beautiful. This is a, an industrial kitchen, two kitchens, a freezer. This is gorgeous. And we're- I'm gonna see if I can find my way back outside, because we're gonna look at the exterior again. Because this man is incredible. I... I've never known a builder quite like this dude. Like, you can even see, like, this is probably keeping a villager in. Look at this. This is beautiful. He's built this whole manor. I could get lost in there. You could get lost in here and he built this. 
He built this with his own two hands. This is beautiful. And he built this after he built all of the other stuff. He didn't start with the manor. He started with the houses. It's incredible. It's 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 gorgeous and honestly I I love it. This is one of the most beautiful areas on the server. It's 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 gorgeous. Uh, even if there are some odd crates up in the sky. Uh, so now that I have spent five straight minutes gushing about how Ethereal Box is probably one of the best builders there is. Um, God, I don't think he's much older than I am. <laughs> he's one of the best builders there is at age like 19 or 20, I believe. Around there. Like, he's even got a mushroom house and it all, it all ties in. It, it, it feels natural like it was built up. It doesn't feel like the manor was the last thing to build. He's, he's got this frog statue. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Like, he's got this greenhouse made of mushroom. It's got an aquarium. Oh, that's red. I love it. And then he has the fields. <laughs> he planted so much just because I guess and it's it's so beautiful it's it's gorgeous I remember when all of this was just flat island and he even like terraformed it down into the ocean this used to be flat land it's solid he terraformed this solid I don't know how he does it it's 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 incredible I Hats off to you, Box. I have no words. This is breathtaking. This is the kind of thing that people spend thousands of dollars on plane tickets to go see. Uh, so now that we've spent definitely not enough time gushing over Box's builds, we have to move to our next friend. Moss. This is Moss's base. Uh, doesn't look like much at the start, but they have this really cool sword portal and if you go over here to where you can see the mushroom lanterns uh, we begin to find their builds um, mushroom lanterns oh say hello to Rai uh, where they have that ender porter set up that I believe most of the No, yeah, there I am. This is my ender porter at their base. Uh, they hit a button, and whoever they want can teleport to wherever they want, or to their base. Um, they have this bottle aquarium, which is really cool. I am lagging quite badly due to the fact that there is another person loading the server. Uh, if we go over here, uh, Moss is another incredible builder, um, but not in the same way that Box is. Uh, where Box can do big grandiose and then fill it with tiny details, Moss works on the itty bitty details. Um, if I can find the path again, like we've got bookshelves attached to lanterns. We have a picnic blanket you can sit at and eat at. Uh, there's, there's stuff in the barrels that I believe was originally, yeah, like presents and stuff. EBGB. A swing hanging from a mushroom over a pond that has a secret door in it. Oh. It's a campsite. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, where, where does this lead? I have never- Oh! This is really cool, actually. Little underground area. I usually just slab these and call it midnight. Would you look at that? Uh, yeah, itty bitty details like that is like Moss's specialty. They do such a good job at it. Like, the builds themselves don't look all that massive from a distance, but once you can get up close and see everything, once you can see everything, it's incredible. And even then, they still have some pretty sizable builds. Like, we have that giant mushroom over there. Uh, this is a manor, I believe, a cabin, a house. And it has aquariums. Um, Moss didn't do as many interiors as Box did. 
Uh, but, I mean, different strokes for different folks, you know how it is. We do have some pretty incredible builds, though, like mushrooms in the house. There's so much detail that Moss puts into stuff. It's incredible. Uh, like, the mushroom has psychedelics underneath it. Look at that. It's got that cool rainbow swirl. Um, if we go over here, there's a construction that we are going to be checking out. Oh, goodness me. What on earth has happened to my frame rate? It's like the game is struggling to remember that I exist. Hello? Hello? Sorry if this is a little unpleasant to watch for the frames. I am doing my best, but there is only so much I can do. Uh, the entrance to this house is over here, yes. Um, is it under here? Oop, there's my frames again. Uh, up here, up here is where it is. There's only one entrance to this house, and it's not easy for me to find. Uh, Moss's house, yes, this is this is uh, their house. There's the J-Schlatt pixel art. Uh, and if we go down here, hello, we have the uh, bee and horse room. Um, oh, there is a bee that survived. They have a lot of uh, llamas and stuff here. This is where they kept their pets. Um, I don't know if all of them are named, but a lot of them are. Uh, like, uh, like, Glock here. Glock is named. Um, and that is Moss's base. Um, there are two people who I wasn't able to get heads of to add to the, uh, cathedral. Whose bases I would still like to show off. The first of the people who I wasn't able to get their heads in the cathedral is Arrowchance. And this is her base. It's it's beautiful. It's it's very green. I love how I love how she used the prismarine. Uh, I love how they used the very look at they've got minecarts running through stuff. It's incredible, it's beautiful. Uh, she even made use of the uh, custom portal shapes data pack we installed because uh, that was teased I believe into 116 and then it didn't happen uh, we have the jungle um, it's got a little gazebo here lovely a lot of bamboo I really dig it uh, and the oh, she built custom oh she built custom biomes oh Arrow is oh she's even got bandits and stuff in here. Oh my god, it's dying. Arrow is our armor stand master. Uh there isn't a person better at armor stands on the server than she is. Um She's again a small detail builder, like we have Ryan in Itty Bitty Castle. I don't know whose skin that is. And we have Box and Rye engaged in a little turf war. Her stuff is gorgeous. Uh, she's got little huts that are themed to each biome. Yes, signs telling you what you'll find in each biome. Oh my goodness. It's been way too long since I've been here. And you can tell. You can tell. Um, I am running around looking for uh, arm stand scenes because that is what I would like to uh, uh, showcase. Um, here, uh, Noel did an Aether mod playthrough, uh, <laughs> and we have what all of us did when the Aether mod first came out. You, you know, you built that glowstone portal and lit it. Uh, she has a doll on the bed. Oh my goodness. And snow is the stairs. <gasps> Arrow, this is incredible. It looks like we have a mini uh, mansion here. A mini uh, woodland mansion. Yeah. Oh, 
This is lovely. This is beautiful. We even have a vindicator running around the hall. And a firework. Oh. And the mushroom island. Oh my goodness me. That's. Oh! <laughs> Egg and the. This is Eggmaster. He really likes killing the dragon. A lot. And he likes building with obsidian. And that's a transgender mushroom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, this is a desert. And it looks like it's connected to a savanna and has a pyramid. Mega duck. Um, I don't think all the biomes got armor stand scenes with players, but I know a lot of them did. I believe that is Yi Yi, the uh, large duck. Here we are at the pirate biome. Yep, this is Yi Yi, the, the, the large duck. We have a moon fountain. And this building is not shaped like a crescent moon. There is no, it's shaped like a crescent moon. Oh my goodness me. Wow. We even have a pirate ship. It's beautiful. And regular boats. <laughs> Ow! Hit me. Uh, so this is Arrow's base. It's lovely. It's incredible. Um, and now we're gonna go visit the last base on the list. Our final friend is Glitch. Glitch Mouse. Her portal is right over here. And this is her base. Uh, it's spawn you spawn directly in her house. However, the real uh, beauty is right outside. Because she has these lovely uh, Byzantine botanical gardens that she's been working on. And it's, it's glorious. Um, my glow pack for ores is ruining the ambiance a little bit. Uh, but unfortunately, it takes a lot longer to turn off than it does to uh, go up the stairs. Um, in here, I believe, is a project that she needed to have. Yeah, I believe this is supposed to be a tree. Um, I'm pretty good at trees, so I told her she could call me if she needed my help, but I guess she decided she didn't need it. And that's okay. This is, this is really cool. Uh, if we zoom around here... We will find a staircase where we can go to the uh, other builds she has in the jungle. As she has not been building exclusively on her Byzantine Empire this uh, whole season. She does have some farms in and around the trees, uh, including a jungle temple that she conquered. Her... which farm is this? Ah, uh, it's a skeleton farm. It's a mob farm. How lovely. And, you know, we got that really square build style that accentuates the Byzantine style she has there. And then if we pick the other direction, where there is no path but a dock that I didn't use, <laughs> Uh, and we climb all the way up. She has this little building on stilts, and it's really pretty. If we climb up to the top of the building and we crawl out of the window, my render distance is just short enough that you can't see the entire building. Uh, which I guess tells you something about how many programs I keep open while I play Minecraft. It's, it's a vice, I'll admit it. So we'll view it from here, because this is going to be where we end the episode. Alright, her beautiful, beautiful Byzantine uh, tiered gardens. Thank y'all for watching. If you're part of the morning crew, I hope you have a great day. If you're part of the evening crew, I hope you had a great day. No, I hope your day's been great. And if you're part of the afternoon crew, well, I hope your day is going alright. I've been Ruby Robotic, and I will see you in the next season.